Hello and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for July the 16th, 2021. So we're getting through the month of July. Gosh, Temperance and the Queen of Pentacles just flew out. Okay, this is nice energy coming through here for us. And I do feel like I just get things are settling down. Things are, here we have, oh, they're all coming out. The Ten of Swords, the King of Swords. I think things are starting to feel a little bit more positive. We have the strength card coming out. But something big has ended here and some of you might be feeling a little bit exhausted with this. And it has a lot to do with messages around self-care. We have the five of swords around a conflict, around a conflict in your life something is ending, winding up has ended. And it is a sense that uh, now you're potentially restoring some kind of balance between these two things. The darkness is lifting and it's coming back to yourself and really looking after yourself, self-care, uh, understanding this is necessary, this ending, and it could have definitely been a relationship of some sort, could have been a relationship to your health is what I'm getting for some of you, some kind of negative, uh, something negative to do with your health. Uh, it's very much like saying goodbye to that. And I feel like with this King of Swords, it's very much cutting the ties to something. Uh, the temperance energy is that there's these two opposing energies that have managed to find the flow again. And so whether this is something within an existing situation or relationship that wasn't working that has now been cut out, or it's a sense of finding that within yourself and letting go of the thing fully that was really causing a bit of pain. Now, this could be to do with your belief systems as well. It doesn't have to necessarily be related to somebody else. I am getting like a relationship here. I'm just getting it with something kind of heavy that was hanging around you. And it is, uh, it's kind of a bit of a relief to let this go, to be honest, is how it's feeling. And so I do feel like the temperance energy comes back. The strength comes back. Your fire does come back. We do have, interestingly, Aquarius right next to Leo here with the King of Swords and the Strength card. And as we're moving through the month, we are getting a lot of different, we're still in cancer season. So, you know, some of this might have been quite an emotional time, but I feel like this is more of a mental release as well for a lot of you. And I get what I'm being shown is that there's now space where something was heavy, there's now space. And that's kind of been a bit of a theme for the week, creating space for the new to come in. And we've seen the new wanting to step in, but now it's like you're creating even more space. And it seems to be this process of release, open, create a space. And this feels a lot lighter. It feels more, uh, it just feels good. It feels like, oh, thank goodness I've got that space. And it might be that today is a day that you actually feel like you need the space or you want some time to yourself or that you feel like something, finally you've got the space to move forward with something. Uh, so I do feel like it's very, it's great energy. Got some very supportive energies around with that Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords. These can be people around you. People are helping you. Um, someone very rational and detached and logical. Someone very caring and nurturing. These two types of people can be around. But we also do have the Strength card here, which is really showing you how strong you are and showing you that it has taken a lot of strength to go through this, but also a lot of strength to release it. And so now is the time to find peace within this situation rather than a react is kind of what I'm being told here. And to see it from a very calm, rational perspective rather than, uh, for want of a better word, letting your ego get in the way of having some kind of reaction around this ending. So there, it is. There's a lot of positive things moving into the future. Is is how it's feeling. It's feeling like finally some big chinks have been removed, and you're able to. Some of you may not be feeling this though, because you know. This figure in the Ten of Swords, the darkness is lifting. There is a new dawn here. There is stepping into a new beginning. But uh, 
might not be, some of you might not be feeling this. It depends on who you are. Some of you will be definitely feeling it. Some of you will be like, I kind of have a sense it's there, but I don't have the energy to step into it just yet because I'm still releasing. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting with that Ten of Swords right in the centre. It is letting something big go. And so often the Ten of Swords is around belief systems that have been passed down from you. But uh, I just keep getting this sense of lightness and relief that this has gone. This energy is finally over and done with and you can move forward now. So that is a really positive energy. And I would say there's a very strong message for self-care, looking after yourself, nurturing yourself, even being able to nurture your physical health, your needs, your resources as well. So this is all kind of the energy coming in for the day and yeah, a lot of positive support around this release, this letting go, cutting the tie. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the weekend and take care.